Penuel the Black Pen. I've been studying business for quite a long time. I ran my own businesses from when I was in varsity at Rhodes, when I was at UJ, selling things like t-shirts, selling Burifos rolls outside like party spots, um, selling my books, of course, and getting involved in other businesses. I remember running an events business with some of my friends at varsity where we were hosting house parties. As you get older and, and uh, wiser and more have a bigger risk appetite you start looking into more formal businesses so i ended up going into having my own fish and chip business it was called penrose fish and chips i had my own trucking business where i was moving furniture i i was selling and breeding livestock uh, namely cows and pigs i'm making this video because there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there there's a lot of especially young people who want to get into business and one of the major things they complain about or the, one of the major constraints to starting a business, to growing a business is access to capital, access to funding, access to finance, having money in essence. A lot of people are not privileged to come from a family of means. What that means is you do not have a mom or a dad or siblings that can just give you like 50,000 rand, that can give you 10,000 rand for you to start a business. So for most people, how you start a business is one of two ways. Number one, you either save because you get an allowance or because you have a part-time job. Maybe you're a waiter, a waitress. Maybe you do promotions, activations. Maybe you have a normal job like you work at a retail store. You work at a food, um, a fast food outlet. You could be working in a company office somewhere, etc. So you start saving 500 rand a thousand until you have enough money for your business. Other people start businesses where you don't necessarily need money. What I mean by that is you do maybe a buy and sell situation where you go to a place like a China city, you take pictures of all these products and then you put them online and you put up a, a markup and you tell people if you're looking for these handbags, if you're looking for these wigs or weaves, if you're looking for these clothing items, please order them from me at this amount. And then people pay you a deposit normally. The deposit is normally enough for you to go and stock those things. And then you go and you um, sell those things and, and you get the balance of that money. So that you're almost starting with, with no cash. I remember with us at Varsity, we started businesses where we got students to give us cash up front. I think the entry was about 50 rand. It included free punch. And with that 50 rand that people were buying tickets with, we went and we got a, a, a house, a digs uh, at, in Grahamstown. Um, and then we went and we sourced snacks we sourced alcohol we sourced a dj we hired speakers etc and then from there we were able to host our our event without having the necessary capital i'm gonna put a list in the comments below for a lot of more formal business people to to say look these are the places you can go to to get funding in this country you've got the small enterprise finance agency called cifa you've got the nyta the national youth uh, development agency which offers grants You've got um, the NEF, the National Empowerment Fund, which has different funds in it. You've got the IDC, the Industrial, Develop uh, Industrial Development Corporation, which funds really, really big projects. Um, and then almost every province or every major province has got its own funding mechanism. I know in Johannesburg it's called the GEP, the Gauteng Enterprise Propeller. KZN has got a growth fund. I think there's Green Cape and other funds in the Cape. And then there's a whole host of other places. What I want you to do is I want you to visit the websites and I want you to look at the criteria, number one. The other thing I want you to do is I want you to start visiting some of these institutions and start making friends. It's not easy. It's not easy. But once you start making friends at funding agencies, once you start making friends at the banks and start understanding the processes, the business plan, the, the financial forecasts, the, the financial statements, you start having an idea of what you need to be doing for your business. As you start a business, you need to keep what I call a diary. Basically, a daily, weekly, monthly account of how your business is progressing, where you started, how much money you've made, etc. And put that in a document that is going to become your business plan and your business reports, especially when you start getting people funding you to explain how your business is going. And then get a accountant, get an accountant rather, whether it is a student, whether it is a formal accountant or learn about basic accounting online and start documenting your income your expenses, start building a balance sheet. Every little piece of uh, asset that you have, every little sewing machine, every little car, every little thing that helps you make money, put that together and speak to your bankers, 
speak to the people in the funding agencies and find out from them with these things that I have, how can I build this pack, this funding pack that will work for you guys so that you guys can give me money and I can start growing this business as, and I, as I grow it, I'll give you guys the reports to help me to get more money and grow my business even more. I'll drop you guys some links in the comments below. And if you have some information, please share them in the comments with people so that they understand where to get funding to grow their businesses. Penuel the Black Pen.